Here I want to solve the RC circuit using uh, differential equations. The RC circuit has a um, resistor and a capacitor in uh, series and can be connected to a battery that has an external uh, EMF of uh, E. Okay, this is the voltage across the battery. So um, to write down the differential equation for the RC circuit, we need to know the equation governing a um, resistor and a capacitor. So the uh, voltage across the capacitor is equal to the charge on the capacitor divided by the capacitance. And the voltage across the resistor is given by Ohm's law is the current through the resistor times the resistance. And in the circuit, the, the charge and the current are related by the current is equal to the derivative of the charge with respect to time, which is why we get a differential equation. Okay, and then um, we want to know then what happens when initially there's no charge on the capacitor, but then we close this switch. So we're going to close this switch here. Okay, that connects the battery to a circuit. So we have the battery and the current flowing this direction across the resistor into the capacitor and then flowing back to the battery. So we can write down Kirchhoff's voltage um, law, which states that the um, EMF is equal to the drop in the voltage across the resistor plus the drop in the voltage across the capacitor. Okay. So these are our governing equations. So I would like to write a differential equation for one of these variables. This E is a constant. Uh, VR and VC depend on time, the time after we throw the circuit. Let's write the differential equation for VC. So I would like to eliminate VR. So to eliminate VR, we can write VR, right? That's I times R, and I is dQ dt, so that's dQ dt times R. And I want to connect VR to VC, so dQ dt equals C times dVCT. So eliminating dQ dt in favor of C times VC dt, we get RC times dVC dt. Okay? Um, so we can eliminate VR in Kirchhoff's law. So we have RC dVC dt plus VC equals E and divide through by RC. So let's write that as Kirchhoff's law as dV C dt, the voltage across the capacitor. Uh, we divide through by um, RC, so plus VC divided by RC is equal to the voltage of the battery divided by R C. Okay, so we have here then a first order linear differential equation. We need initial conditions. So the initial voltage across the capacitor at T equals zero is zero. Okay. So the solution of the RC equation then is a solution of a first order linear differential equation. Uh, we know how to do that with an integrating factor. So the uh, integrating factor is um, 
the exponential function of the integral of 1 over rc dt from 0 to t. So that integral is uh, simple to do because it's an integral of a constant. So it's just t over rc. So we have our integrating factor. And then we can write down the solution. So then Vc is equal to 1 over the integrating factor, e to the minus t over rc. The uh, initial condition is 0. So we just multiply by the integral from 0 to t of the integrating factor times the right-hand side, dt. So we have a uh, e over rc times e to the t over rc dt. OK? Well, this integral is integral of an exponential. So it's uh, relatively simple. So the, uh, when you integrate, you have to get multiplication by rc. So it cancels this rc. And then we have, uh, so let's just uh, write this out. So we have an e to the minus t over rc. The integral of this multiplied by rc. So we have uh, e times um, e to the t over r c and then we have to evaluate this one at the limits between 0 and t so this becomes e to the t r c minus e to the 0 which is 1 e to the t r c minus 1 multiply by e multiply by e to the minus t over r c so we end up with e times 1 minus e to the minus t over r c. OK? So that's the solution. So when uh, t equals 0, the voltage across the capacitor is 0. And then uh, as t goes to infinity with this time scale r c, this term drops to 0, and we end up with the voltage across the capacitor being E. OK? All right. Let's go back to our uh, circuit diagram. Now let's say um, we've waited long enough so this is charged OK? after this is connected. So I can write then uh, VC will then go to E. And then I want to um, take this circuit and throw the switch in the uh, opposite direction. OK? If we throw the switch in the opposite direction, then the battery is no longer connected. So the current then will flow this way, right? And this will be our <coughs> closed loop. OK. So if we apply Kirchhoff's law to this one, there is no external EMF. So we will just get the uh, voltage across the resistor plus the voltage across the capacitor should be equal to 0, right? OK. So let's see what happens then. Uh, here, so if we write down Kirchhoff's law, we have the voltage across the capacitor plus the voltage across the resistor equals zero. So we end up with the same differential equation on the left, but the right hand side is now zero. Okay, so Kirchhoff's law becomes uh, d v c d t plus v c over r c 
equals zero, right? But now we're starting with a fully charged capacitor. So Vc of zero is equal to E, the EMF, okay? Um, this differential equation, also a first order differential equation, but um, we all know this is an uh, exponential function. So we can immediately write down the solution that Vc of t equals the initial value, e, times e to the minus t over rc. So the voltage across the capacitor then starts at e when t equals 0, and then decays exponentially to 0 with a time scale rc.